true queen. Look here, a champ. Take a good look, Mr. Witcher. You're not likely to ever see another cow like this, and she is impressive. Look at that glistening coat, her tail, and that udder. Mm -hmm. We plan to mate her with a champion bull from Bullsville. Mm. That'll be something. A stock known round the world. No doubt. Ah, our strawberry is so beautiful. Later. Now what? Take a good look, Mr. Witcher. You're not likely to ever see. She is him. Look at. Mm -hmm. We plant. Mm. That'll be some. No doubt. Uh, Later. What heat? May the sun set quickly. Though recently I've had terrible dreams of night wraiths. Tell me your dreams. Midnight demons emerge when the moon is high. I dream they carry me through the air, dance around me, then let me fall. Where did these dreams come from? One night, I saw night wraiths dancing in the fields. Even as I say this, I feel my flesh creep. Tell me more. I saw demons born of moonlight, wind, and the soil cooled after a day's heat. They hovered over the ground, raving. When one gazed at me, I ran as fast as my legs would carry me. I swore never to venture into the fields at night. Thanks. I'll tend to the night wraiths. I wished to reach the island, but that growling fisherman refused to take me. Tell me your mid another time a beautiful area Lassie you're a good man though a witcher i'm julian's kin i'm pleased to meet the famous white should i hurry oh my back aches yet no Girls rain work. clouds threaten greetings hello how can i help the gentleman who might you be master handyman at your service I handle repairs of all kinds, produce strange and non-standard objects, and I'm a capable creative blacksmith and carpenter. You're rather versatile. One has to survive, so I offer other services. Besides, I have an expensive hobby. A hobby? My kin and I yearn to build a flying machine. We built several already, but none worked. We had to cover the pilot's medical expenses. I see. Yes? Berenger mentioned you know the legend of Raven. I know nothing about the legend. I'm more interested in technology. That armor was a breakthrough in armor design, made possible by advances in metallurgy and smelting. Very interesting. About the armor. I can tell you about its qualities. Good, but remember I know little about metallurgy or smithery. Three elements remain of Raven's armor. A spalder, a rear brace and a gauntlet. The highest quality iron ores and state-of-the-art technologies were used in its making, not some useless Timerian smelting pots. The gnomes surpass us technologically by an age. Beneath Mount Carbon, they have blast furnaces and quenching tanks, equipment beyond our reach. Can you tell me about the armor? As you wish. The technologies I mentioned allow for the production of steel both hard and flexible essentially indestructible. As I said, only parts of the armor remain. To recreate the entire suit, you must find replacement material and someone to assemble the parts. Any suggestions? Search crypts where great knights were interred. I heard the counts of the Reuter dynasty wore similar armor. Pieces of that should be reforgeable. Farewell.
What? Tell me your dream. Mid Another time. I wished to be a witcher as a child. When I grew up, I thank the gods that never happened. You'll all oh, for a son as handsome as Alvin. Oh, for a what son as handsome as Alvin. <laughs> Foolish lasses. Berengar's clearly more handsome than you. Well, the grumbling fisherman refused to take me to Black Turn Island. Matalina sure catches my eye. Good morning. Greetings. I'm Geralt the Witcher. Dandelion once sang a love ballad about a witcher. How heartwarming. Are witchers like knights, struggling against evil and villainy? Dandelion, I'm sure, described my profession realistically. The ballad was romantic. Lovers bound by destiny, unable to meet. Romantic indeed. I'm to marry soon. What brings you here? You taking care of Alvin? Yes. He has such beautiful, big eyes. Mm hmm Sadly, my husband-to-be won't adopt Alvin. Can I speak to Alvin? Yes, he'll be in the village, or helping around the house. Farewell. Wait, I have a request. If you happen to pass by the inn, would you be kind enough to look in on my fiancé? And perhaps see if my sister Selina can be found anywhere. Your fiancé is spending time at the inn? We're not speaking. He's very irritated. We argued about Alvin. Arguing already? Julian wishes us to have our own children. He wants to send Alvin to the Temple of Melitella, or to be trained as a witcher. You'll find him at the tavern. I see. Hi, Geralt. I have a new home. It's nicer than Vizima was. It's just that I missed you. You like it here? I do! Are we gonna kill monsters together? Alvin, fighting monsters is very dangerous. Promise you'll avoid it whenever possible. I promise. There are elves around here. One is really beautiful, but she argued with Mr. Tobias. 
Can we play kill the elf? Boy, I really need to talk to you and Alina. It's not Alina. All the kids play it. I'm always the Grand Master. We'll talk later. Why do you seek me? Has Alvin been behaving strangely? He told some terrible stories. I thought him delirious. What did he say? Something about ghosts condemned to suffer eternally by unrequited love. It was so... Romantic, I know. I'll find him. Why do you seek me? Farewell. Greetings. I'm Adam. Geralt. I strive to compose a love poem for my beloved Alina. Ask Dandelion the poet. Supposedly he's pretty good. He said love would inspire me. He busies himself performing a diversionary maneuver. A maneuver? He's courting the miller's daughter to make Miss Arlene jealous. Clever, that one. Like a fox. Can I ask you something? Yes. How's your poem? Oh, oh, ahem. <clears throat> your hands fine and slender, your hips big and tender, all night and all day, spin my head a painful way. Enough. Speak no more. Yes? You're in love with Alina? You know she's getting married. I love her secretly, so you must be discreet. And marriage is never an obstruction to true love. Bye. Yes? You should stop playing Kill the Elf. I really like that game. I always win. Well, almost. Alvin. Okay, I'll stop. Yes? How did you get to Murky Waters? I was playing with Shawnee when they came in. The leader had glasses and used strange words I couldn't understand. What happened next? Shawnee screamed at the man in glasses. He told her she liked freaks, and he'd show her what a real man was. Mm -hmm. Shawnee cussed and kicked him in the... Right. Did they hurt her? No. The man in glasses started crying, and the others were afraid to get close to her. Well, she called them bad names. Shawnee's good at that. I feel sorry for the salamanders, but go on. I ran, and they chased me, and I was running so fast. But then I tripped, and they caught me. They put a sack on my head and led me somewhere. I was scared, more than in the outskirts. I shut my eyes and imagined I was far away from those people. Somewhere beautiful with the sun shining. And then Alina found me. I'm not lying. I believe you. I don't want to go back there, Geralt. It's all right. Let's see. I'll be good. I promise. Be good. I'll see you later. Monster Slayers always find a fight. You're a good man. Don't no, worry, Greetings. Hello. What be your moniker? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Lucky to have two witches visit us. Ha <laughs> ha! I, Tobias Hoffman, am the village chief. Ha <laughs> ha yourself. Beastie Beta, what brings you here? I'm here about the notice. What do you have for me? Five Alp teeth, as stated. How vile! Here's the gold I promised.
Beastie Beta? Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> Horrible, they say. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. Tell me more. About what? Any non-humans around here? Elves live on the shore. Pretty disagreeable lot. I thought to give them leftover food. They looked at me so cold I nearly froze. They're a strange bunch. Still, I've enough to do here in the village without worrying about them. I heard there's going to be a wedding. Yes, my dear daughter Alina is marrying a gallant, hard-working and honest fellow. You know the joy that finding a good lad for your daughter brings? No? Thought not. Fighting is all your kind thinks about. That's not quite true, but... Listen, got any jobs for a witcher? There are more urgent matters. We'll need to discuss that another time. I wanted to talk to you about the Vodianoi. Julian's in charge of that business. Business? He fishes treasures from the lake, renovates them, and sends them to markets in Vesiva. Know where I can find the friendly Vodian priest? He's often sitting by the altar of the Lady of the Lake. Sometimes he's driven off by Dagon's worshippers, but he always returns. I see. Beastie Beta? Nowhere I can find the friendly Vodian priest. He's often sitting by the... I see. Wandering rogue scared me. Beautiful. Strange. You don't speak like one from within. Ah, women. Good morning, Witcher. Greetings. You look sad. My sister will wed a man she doesn't like. I have not to wear to the wedding, for our father expended his savings on his beloved daughter's dowry. Furthermore, it's hot as hell. But all goes well otherwise. Doesn't sound good. May I ask a question? Yes. Is your sister happy about getting married? She's happy. She has no concern for her younger sister. Elena doesn't deserve happiness. Oh, how I hate that nymphette! Now she's ensnared Julian. A wealthy town merchant, while she wanders about with her nose in the clouds. Don't worry. You'll find a good husband. 
better than Julian. Not, woe, I suffer for the masses, Adam. How pathetic. Or perhaps you mean the hermit? Such are my options. Did you see the engagement ring Julian gave Alina? A diamond larger than a pigeon's egg. Calm yourself. Why take her side? Admit it, she's dazzled you. Oh, how I despise her. She'll not have you. I'll give myself to you right now on the nearest rock. You merely need to give me a nicer ring than the one Julian gave Alina. Farewell. You bring trouble. Stay away from our resort. Carol, is that you? How are things? I found Alvin. Alvin? Wait a minute. Triss wanted me to do something, hammered it into my head for an hour. Ah, oh, yeah. I have a dimeridium amulet for him. Dandelion, I can't trust you to do anything. Is that so? Well, I just remembered I had a package for you. A package? I don't know. Something. But I might have lost it. Quit pouting, Dandelion. What do you have for me? Fine. I have a letter to you from your lover. Shani, hand it over. See ya. Geralt? I wanted to answer that letter. Good idea. I have pen and parchment. Think of a beginning.
Dearest Shani. Your romance is blooming. I'm happy for you, Geralt. I don't want to talk about it. Now what? Something about Alvin? I'm sure she's worried about him. Maybe I can describe what's happening here in murky waters. She could find that interesting. Sit down and write it. The fisherman could take it to Vizima.